Too many Christians have been attacked through their dreams. So let me explain to you the kinds of dreams. Number one, there are symbolic dreams. Genesis 37, 5. Genesis 37, verse 5. Now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even more. Continue. So he said to them, please hear this dream which I have dreamed. There we were, binding sheaves in the field. Then behold, my sheaf arose and also stood upright. And indeed, your sheaf stood all around and bowed down to my sheaf. And his brothers said to him, shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Then he dreamed still another dream and told it to his brothers and said, look, I have dreamed another dream and this time the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars bowed down to me. So these were symbolic dreams. These are one type of dream that you can have. And if you are not spiritually discerning, this is where we get it wrong the most. We have one dream. I know someone who says, anytime you see a car, that means it's your destiny. That's a lie. It can mean a ton of different things. It, it has to make sure it's applied to your situation. So we cannot keep blanketing dreams like we've been doing. And so all the people who tell you about dream interpretation, that no, 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 no. There are some similarities in some things, but the symbols, you must make sure that you are one, apply it to God's word, and two, to your situation. Otherwise, we can all interpret it differently and different ways. And symbolic dreams, if you're not careful and you divulge symbolic dreams to someone, they will misinterpret it and end up putting you in a pit. Number two, message dreams. So number one is symbolic dreams. This is how Pharaoh was confused when he even had his dream in Genesis 41. He was extremely confused, so Joseph had to interpret it. And he said, this interpretation has to come from God. Um, so like I said, a snake can mean one thing. It can mean a lie in one dream. It can mean an attack in the next dream. It can actually even mean immorality in another dream. So for me to give you a blanket statement about a snake, me as a prophet, if I can just open my mouth without hearing the full dream, is either the Lord has already spoken to me or I don't know what I'm talking about. Number two, a message dream, Matthew 1 20. Matthew chapter 1 verse 20. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. Message dreams are clear. You have the scripture. You wake up and you know that the scripture was given to you. You wake up and you say, I saw first lady in my dream and she said X, Y, and Z. Those are message dreams. Those are dreams that God will give you every so often. Sometimes you'll see fire boldly in front of a building. That is a message dream. You don't need an interpretation. That means run, don't go there. You see yourself in a car accident. You don't have to get an interpretation. You wake up, you cancel it, and you don't go on the trip. It's not now that you're about to say, First Lady, cover me. Cover you to do what? You give us unnecessary burdens. The Lord already warned you, don't enter into this marriage. Then you enter into it then things don't go well and now you're saying that yes I had a few dreams about this person remember we were talking to one young lady before and her marriage was just this was even before the church started and apostle said but did you get any warning signs she began to cry she said I've gotten so many I knew in my spirit that this was not the one but my time was ticking
Number three, actual dreams. Genesis 28, 12 to 16. Genesis 28, verse 12. Then he dreamed, and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth, and its top reached to heaven, and there the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham your father and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie I will give to you and your descendants. Also your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth. You shall spread abroad to the west and the east, to the north and the south, and in you and in your seed all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back to this land, but I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. Actual dreams are when you dream and you yourself can discern, wow, this is actually happening to me right now. I can feel the presence of God right here. I can feel the demonic dream right here. I can actually sense it. That's an actual dream. That, and sometimes when you look on your body, those of you who are always attacked, when you look on your body, you can see the scratches. Then there are number four, lucid dreams. These are dreams that when you, you are in your dream, you can discern that you are dreaming. You can discern that you are dreaming in the dream. And so when you wake up, you have two choices. Go back to sleep or pray. 